So how do you catch sturgeon from a boat? Hi, this is Paul from Anchor Caddy. In the last three episodes, we talked about what kind of rod, reel, line, and how to set up a leader for sturgeon fishing out of a boat. Now, if you missed any of those episodes, you can click on one of the links on the screen here to go back and watch those episodes first, or you can come back and watch it after you're done. In this episode, we're gonna go over the basic baiting of your hook using the leaders that we showed you in the last episode. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by poking the hook in the top of his head, right about where his eyes are. So poke the hook down, bring it out through his mouth, and push it through. So you don't push the hook all the way out of his head. Push it in the top of his head to where the hook stays lodged in there. And it'll look something like that. Then you're gonna start putting half hitches down the body. You're probably going to do four or five half hitches, depending on the size of the bait. So just run it down his body. And you want to try and put a half hitch over each fin to keep the fin from flipping up when it's down in the river. You want to try and get the last half hitch on the tail to keep the tail from picking up in the current. There you have it. So let's do the squid. Squid, pretty much the same thing. You're going to poke it in his head, between his eyes, and pull the hook out a little bit, not all the way out of his head, all right, and it'll look something like that, and then you just start putting half hitches up his body. Now this squid's a little bit shorter than the smelt, so you could go a little bit smaller leader, or you just add more half hitches on his body, so you don't have much of the tail end of the leader sticking out. All right, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get that last half hitch close to the tail as possible to keep that tail from bending up in the current and making your bait spin, you don't want that. All right, there you go. That's a little more leader end than I prefer to have, so I'm gonna put another half hitch on there just to shorten up that end. There we go. Okay, now let's use a 48 inch leader to rig up a whole shad and go after those oversized sturgeon. We're basically gonna follow the same method that put the hook about between his eyes. This one I'm gonna put it a little bit forward because he's a little bit bigger. And then bring it out through his mouth. And you wanna try and lodge the top of that hook into his head. And it helps make the hook stay in there a little bit better. And then you're going to want to start putting half hitches down. Now the first half hitch, you're going to want to try and get the first half hitch around his gills to keep his gills closed. Again, for the same reason you do other baits. You don't want it catching in the current and then spinning up. So I'm try and get that first half hitch around his gills. Like that. And just keep running half hitches up his body. Okay, and again, just like the smelt, you're going to want to try and make sure that you get one of your half hitches on their fins to kind of keep the fins down. And just keep running half hitches up his body. Three, four, five, depending on the length of your leader and the size of your bait. And the last one, you, you want to make sure you get the tail and get the tail closed. Or you can also cut off the tail also. That way you don't have to worry about it. But I like to get at least one half inch on the tail. There you have it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay tuned for our next episode where we show you how to detect a sturgeon bite. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to anchorcaddy.com for more information.